What's up guys, this is Kyle from Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by vapor. And today I'm gonna to be walking you through how to set up and use your vengeance tank from the Council of Vapor. All right, so here's the box, the vengeance from the Council of Vapor comes in. All right, and inside we will find the tank, extra glass, a spare .2 stainless steel coil. Got a nice little user manual with some big high res pictures on how to use the device. A little warning card and a little QR code that presumably takes you to their Facebook page. So here is the Vengeance by the Council of Vapor. Got this nice engraved logo on the bottom, the Council of Vapor. Vengeance. Got your serial number down there and this 510 pin is not spring loaded. And the Vengeance is a 22 millimeter diameter tank, so it's gonna sit nice and flush on all of your devices. And the airflow ring is this center piece of metal right here, and it is not free spinning. So it goes fully open, stop spinning, and fully closed, and stop spinning. And there it says Vengeance right there on the chimney. And this is all 304 stainless steel, and this is Pyrex glass. Now the drip tip looks a little bit different than some that we've seen. Got this little O-ring on the top and these holes along the side. And if we look down the center, we see all these holes shaped like a honeycomb or a hexagon. So as the vapor comes up from the chimney, it will hit these holes and kind of separate. And any condensation or any juice that would have gone into your mouth is gonna hit this metal and just drip right back down. So this prevents any spit back. The drip tip has two O-rings and sits really snug in the top of the tank. So if you use the drip tip like this and you have this O-ring on the top, it cuts off the airflow going through these outer holes on the drip tip. But if we just peel that off, all of a sudden we open up that barrel. So a lot like the TFV4's design, airflow comes in these holes and around that inner barrel and into your mouth. And this is not a standard 510 drip tip, so if we were to try to put on one of our own, we'll notice it clearly does not fit. However, the drip tip for the Mutation X series, the RDA, actually fits nice and snug in the Vengeance. So you will miss out on having that little backsplash guard like you do on the drip tip that comes with it, but if you want a longer drip tip or a Delrin drip tip, you can use the Mutation X drip tip on the Vengeance. So let's go ahead and take her apart by just spinning the bottom. And here is our coil. And here is the 0.2 ohm stainless steel coil that comes with the Vengeance. And this atomizer is rated for 30 watts to 100 watts. And all of these juicing windows around the outside, there are six of them. This ensures proper juice flow, and even at 100 watts, you're not gonna get a dry hit with these coils. And as you can see, these are parallel stainless steel vertical coils. So let's go ahead and pop the atomizer back into the base. And you're gonna fill this just like a normal tank. So with the top of the tank upside down, just take some juice, I'm gonna be using some Vapor Hut cotton candy, and just squeeze it down the side there. And this tank does hold four milliliters of e-liquid. So we can go all the way to the top. And then screw on our base with our atomizer. And then you're gonna let this sit for a couple minutes just so that atomizer gets nice and saturated and then you are ready to go. So that is the Vengeance tank from the Council of Vapor. So that's how you set up and use the Vengeance tank from the Council of Vapor. If you guys are interested in seeing my review on this tank, just click on this link. Otherwise, this has been Kyle from Vapor Hut, driven by you, fueled by vapor. Have a great day, guys.